What's up, Melee Hill? Uh, you might know me from that one Melee HD video where I uh, upgraded the textures and the shaders and stuff like that and it looked pretty nice and I got it to probably the highest quality possible with like the current software and stuff like that. And uh, some of you guys have had some questions on how I installed and if I'm going to release an ISO or something like that. And I'm going to uh, show you how to basically install the entire thing. So first thing you want to do is search up Melee Toolkit. Let me do this, Melee Toolkit. And then you want to just click the download button and just put it to a place where you could get to easily. Uh, next thing you want to do is search Melee was it shaders mod or I think high quality shaders or something like that uh, you'll go to this you don't want this or no you do want this my bad so yeah go to SSB uh, before shader for SSBM this is what I got it to make this is like the biggest change so uh, if you don't want to change your ISO just listen to this because this is pretty easy and you could probably do it in like five minutes so go to the installation and you want to get Ishikura's custom dolphin and uh, the SSB for shader 2.12 just download both of them when when you download this dolphin build I would download literally anything uh, I don't I don't know too much of the uh, like changes between them I have an older version I don't know if the new versions will work but to be safe I'd get like an older version but I try out the new versions as well uh, and also get a SSB4 shader, whatever. Um, uh, I'd probably put it, put your melee toolkit, the dolphin build right here in the shaders in one folder just for accessibility. So after you download all of that, you want to go into your dolphin, go to sys, go to shaders, and then you'd have a lot more uh, .glsl files and stuff. You want to delete all of them besides the Shakira FX. This is the one we want. So do like Control A, then Control click on that, and then right click and like remove them, and then like put them all into the recycling bin or whatever. Um, and once you have that, the next thing you want to do is go to your documents, uh, your documents folder, and then go to Dolphin Emulator, and then uh, you want to go to your SS before shader where you downloaded right here and just drag and drop your load folder and that's it if it says merge or something just click yes and you should be fine if you don't have like a merge uh, window that pops up it's fine so once you have all that you're pretty set for the dolphin part so you want to go to options graphics setting and just tinker with it I, I use uh, you want to have in a, a direct X I mean direct 3d 11 back end most likely I have a GTX Titan, I have a pretty stacked build, but I'm pretty sure you could run this on some mid, mid end, kind of like 770 or like even like a, like a higher end laptop, you could probably run this. The most important thing is put this post processing stuff, it'd probably be off, you want to put it to Shakira, and then you could just configure it to whatever to make it, you know, like nice and stuff. And then I just, this is like the settings I use, you know, they're pretty stacked up. You don't have to use all these things to make it look nice, but this is how I made it look as nice as I did in the video I made. Uh, and then the next step you want is like not as important, still important. You want to go to melee HQ textures, and you probably see this mesh for thread. Um, you know, uh, you could just and then click on the details we're going down them here and click on this media fire link download it uh, but I already have it downloaded and it's right here in the melee HQ you you have all these dot dot files like what do I do with this well you want to go into your melee toolkit run and then this is where you need a clean or not clean you could just use some 20xx ISO or melee ISO it doesn't really matter I have a 20xx ISO so I'm just gonna open that go to file system and what you want to do is go to like PLCH and R, which is right here. Click on this, click on replace, and then go to where you have your textures, and then just click on this and replace. So you want to do this for all of these textures. This is how you replace all the character uh, 
model textures, and you and when and then you also replace the FD and Pokemon Stadium textures with these, uh, and that's how you make it look nice. It's pretty simple, actually. That's how I did it, and then I configure some stuff with the shaders and stuff like that. It's actually insanely simple. Uh, I, I had this idea from Magic Trumpy. I already made um, something like this before, but it caught my interest again, and I'd like to show like people.